Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Lately, I have been doing light worker blogs mixed into Warcraft. Warcraft is in the background as I just talk. So far, it has been a crazy ride. I might just like that front better than the reading of the blogs because I'm again more loose more organic and not so much scripty um as for today I woke up with well I was having a dream and something well it was a repeat dream except the some characters changed which is weird i don't know why i repeat my dreams and later on it's like either i forgot the dream even existed and then my brain is like okay i am going to repeat it either go longer or change the script somehow or something i have no idea why this happens but the dream that I was having, the main theme was you're an outcast and you are alone. The feeling when I woke up was the same from within the dream or my stupid ex found out that I blocked his messages so he can no longer contact me because I am tired of him coming back, doing the same dance, same song. He sees something that is non-existent and blocks me for it. If he don't, usually he deletes his account, restarts it, then months later he finds me on his new account. But again, same story. So I finally said enough with this, I am going to block him because last time I did not. So he must have found out that I prevent him from messaging me getting in contact with me so he feels sad missing me like really if you say that y that i matter to you you would not treat me like this accents speak louder than words so um the story the long story short is either the dream is the culprit for why I feel like this, or my ex is attacking my heart chakra while I slept. And he sends his thoughts are super powerful. So whatever he is feeling, he attacks you with it. So if he's pissed, you will feel hate in your heart chakra. Or in this case, sadness or loneliness. I don't know. For me, I don't think it's my ex who attacked my heart chakra while I slept. I think it was the dream fault. I don't really know. Either way, right now, my energy is not what it should be. I, am f I felt lonely and just that feeling of being completely, utterly alone. You don't know alone until you you know, be alone, having no contact with anyone, not communicating with anyone because for me, they overlook me, call me crazy, are you on drugs, are you insane, or are you plain stupid? I've got attacked um, a lot by are you stupid, are you on drugs, are you high, etc. So for me, I'm the misfit, I'm an outcast, I'm the alien. People overlook me. They don't like me, necessarily. I've heard many different cult stories of why this is. Uh, for me, it's my ideas are too out there. I am on 5D. Everyone around me is on 3D. Therefore, huge gap, huge power gap huge energy gap frequency 
You're on 3D. You won't understand where I am coming from. Therefore, am I on drugs? Am I high? Etc. Or you offer nothing of value to the conversation, and we do not click. You cannot force this. Or my energy is too powerful, and people are afraid to communicate with me. I've heard that story before. Or you're too shy, and you don't want to communicate with me. I've heard that one before. So for me, I have a handful of people that I trust. Mainly two people right now because the third one just went away again after another person. So、uh, of my friendships, they don't really last very long. People come and go all the time. They either have no value or whatever it is. I don't know. I never understood this.、Uh, other times it says. You comment in the comments, which is okay,、um, because people don't.、Uh, I don't know if you're not on. I've heard. I don't want to make a YouTube account just to comment or just to follow you, or they don't go outside of. For instance, if they're on Facebook, they will not message me on Discord or YouTube, or anywhere for that matter. So it's like. Just like that, but that person didn't really offer anything anymore, and I got fed up with what he was saying to me. So I just said, "Heck with it, block." End of story. For me to communicate with people is very rare when I do,、um, because again, my energy is too far out though. My ideas are too far out though. So I'm the alien. No one really sees me. I'm like invisible. Not joking. That is how I feel. That is how I think the world sees me, invisible. But I have two people that I trust. Therefore, it's not not fully invisible. Think of Shark Tale. I think that's the movie. His girlfriend is like, "You're not invisible to me," but he feels I'm invisible to everyone. That's kind of what is going on with me. So he does this crazy thing, teams up with a shark, and he gets famous. But then it ends in disaster because he played it. To me, I'm not doing the play thing. I'm literally putting out my energy into the world. Come find me. But my energy is so far out, though. Not many will find me. If you understand what this, understand what that means. But yeah, it is what it is. I am too powerful. I am too out of the box. I'm on 5D. Everyone around me is either on 3D or 4D, or they offer nothing of value and will not communicate to me, or I won't communicate back. Whatever it is, I'm not invisible. The world just doesn't understand me. The right people have not found me yet. I only have two people right now, and that is fine with me. End of story, right? As his thoughts for this morning, before I get into classic, right now I am fixing my character customization because there is no barber shop. Therefore, I cannot change hair color. I cannot change. Skin color because that's a thing now. They've released, so you don't need to pay the item in the store anymore to completely change your model. Unlike before, you had to because there was no skin option. You could change your hair, face, and that's about it. Now you can change your skin. So good. So、uh, I created a warrior just because. I don't know if I will play as a warrior.、Um, I might. I don't know. In modern WoW, I tried warrior, but it felt very sluggish, like to get going. But then when you did get going, it was fast. But to get there, it's slow process. I kind of was between. Okay, which one do I like better, Pally or Warrior? Could never decide. And I think I was with Pally more.
And then Blizzard decides to rework everything. So I'm like, oh great. But for me, my my cl my uh, main class is Demon Hunter. Why? Fast paced. That's why. Not big. Yeah, that's it. Fast fast paced style. Dual wielding is my my go to. I love dual wielding and fast paced action. Therefore, Demon Hunter and Favel slash Guardian Druid because I swap between the two. Though I also, no, I'm not really a caster, so I don't know if I like mage or lock. I was trying a uh, demon, demonology warlock, but uh, then they hope did the rechains, rework, never tried it again. Shadow priest is a big fat no. I think I was a uh, solo and as a holy priest uh, or discipline. One of the two, because I preferred, like I said, I am, I hate Shadow Priest with a passion. I don't like purple that much, but again, it kind of classed with the Demonology Warlock spell, which is both purple, so that's also why. Not much going on, uh, I did a little bit solo. Off camera, didn't really get much done. I died to that mob that I was trying to fight. Then I was going towards a different quest only to say I need a break. And then I decided for today, uh, do I want to, on my off day, seven, one day out of the week, do I want to train a different class or do I want to go back to BFA? and solo my Nelf Druid on that game. I don't know yet. Um, I like the progression in the classic, even though it's super slow and it's kind of frustrating at times, but it's like Skyrim, so it's good. I like Skyrim. The only other game that I can compare it to would be maybe Legend of Legea. One, not two, because two is on PS2. I'm talking about PS1 because there was a second Legend of Legea, which I completed. The first one I never really got to finish. Same with Tales of Destiny. I can't remember if it's called this Tales of Destiny 1 or is it 2? I don't remember. But I didn't finish that one either. Because, um... Well, I got to the city. And... I... I as a kid, I remember... Okay, I go to the city. Talk to everyone. I don't know where to go after this. Turns out, you had to go to a cave. And that's all I remember. So, yeah, I remember running around, talking to everyone, I'm stuck, where do I go from here? Oh, go out of the city, go to a cave, fight a boss, I guess. I, I don't really remember, this game is really old, but yeah, fun times, without a guide, so, yeah. And then there was Breath of Fire 3 as well, which was, again, without a guide. And then you have Crusaders, um, god, that game was hard, because I, I kept hitting the wrong button, instead of buying something, I ended up attacking the shopkeeper, and oops, now all the NPCs are attacking me, and I end up dead every single time, so, that's fun, can't remember the full title of that game, but that was hard. I never really could get past stage two. Stage one, uh, you, you break out of this castle, I think, and then you, yeah, I don't really remember other than I never could get past stage two because I kept attacking the friggin' shopkeepers. 
So that was fun. And that's for old Nintendo games. I don't really remember. Old. It was. You have a little window. You click on another point and click games. And why I remember, I don't know the, the, the title, but okay, you must have gotten so drunk, you passed out on the toilet, but you have no idea how you got there or even why. Then you have to figure out, okay, what is going on? So you have to break out of this bar, and that's all I remember. Point and, point and click game. Very old. Took me forever to figure out. The, ste the correct steps to not die. Then you have another mansion game. Well, someone's supposed to be in the basement, but if you get all your characters down in the basement, you have to restart. Can't remember that title either. Or was that on Super Nintendo? I it's either Nintendo or Super Nintendo, what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't remember. But uh, this is before I forgot my skin color for my Night Elf because I can't... Well, I noticed, for one, the hell style was wrong, and the hell color I accidentally didn't want anymore. So I chose, changed him up, and I also had the wrong face. So yeah, that was fun. But now I can't decide do I want this one skin over this other. So that's fun. Because again, there was no barber. You cannot, once you go, you're stuck. As for my first uh, vanilla character, technically it would be Worgen, except again, Worgen don't exist back then. So my actual first character would have been Troll Hunter, followed by Undead Priest, I think. Yeah. But it would have been actually. No. Uh. I don't know what what I would have picked way back then because I started with Worgen Caster, either Maze or Warlock. Not Druid. Druid was way later. And I should have actually chose Druid first. So, would I have been a Nelf Druid the first time around? I don't know. Because that came later. So, in this one, I did go Night Elf first. So, yeah, that, that, that's fun. But, yeah. I'm going to wrap it up here as I try to figure out my skin color and yeah until we meet again